A blower door test is simply a measurement of the air leakage in a home. There are several steps involved in a blower door test. The original setup involves sizing an adjustable frame into one of the exterior doors of the home. Next we install a fan and connect it to a manometer so that we can measure both the inside and the outside air pressure differential. We have what's called the ELA or the equivalent leakage area which is basically a representation if you were to take all of the holes in a home that were leaking air and put them together into one window. How big would that window be? All homes definitely benefit from having a blower door test done. Certainly in the case of an old home, in order to help us locate the leakage points so that we may go on to seal them up and make the house tighter and more comfortable. In new homes, we take blower door test readings to show the builders just how good and how tight their homes are being made today. Now that we've done the blower door test, we have the numbers to work off of and uh, we can pass those numbers on to the uh, homeowners, you know, with the ever climbing costs to heat your house or anything like that. We can say, here's the numbers, here's where we're at. Now with the 2020 uh, air tightness stuff coming up, uh, having the blower door test and all that, having the numbers really lets us know where we're gonna, where we need to be uh, before it gets here. So that will really help us out. Another advantage to having a blower door test done is what we call the exhaust device depressurization test. This allows us to know if any naturally aspirating appliances, such as a furnace or a water heater, could possibly be backdrafting harmful CO2 gases back into the indoor air. So a blower door test is designed to make your house safer and more comfortable. 